Hey, what's up, you guys? What's up, my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ? Um, I got a dream from the Lord last night. I had a couple of dreams. I'm just, I'm not going to put it all on one video. This just, I'm going to make other videos for the others. But um, this is um the first dream I had last night. Um, I had a dream that there was a parking lot. I was in the back of a car sitting next to my brother, Sean. It's weird, but I know that we had put a team together. It was like an evangelism team. I remember there being like six cars parked to go out and help people. Two of the cars I strongly remember that parked next to each other was a green truck. It was a dark green truck with the symbol of a ram. The ram looking trucks, the, the um, trucks that had that silver ram symbol in them. Um, okay, uh, that was the logo for that truck. It was very big. It had a back on it like a handyman truck. Kind of like you had the black little cage connected to the back of the trucks and it had like yard work stuff in it, I guess. Um, it was like that. Um, then the next car, um, next to it was a white or tan car. I knew we were meeting them to go out. I remember talking to my brother Sean, and then he got out the car to go help people. It's weird, but I know and knew that we were no ordinary team. But we went out and cast demons and sickness out of people. We got rid of all kinds of demons behind the people's problems in their life. Some even were possessed by them. The last thing I remember was this really skinny woman. She was old, just real, she was really old, bony, skinny. She was hideous, old skin, unclean, old, long fingernails. Her hair had all fallen out. And her scalp was covered with dry, yellow, grayish looking dead skin. I knew it smelled horrible. She was wearing a white shirt. She had ugly teeth. Somehow she ended up next to me. As I was getting out of the car, her eyes became pure black. She seemed harmless at first. I did and I discerned her spirit and knew this woman was possessed. So as I was about to cast out the demon, she began looking very mad and pointing her finger at me, snarling at me. She pointed, she was like, she she had the most evil look in her eyes. She pointed like she just wanted to, like, just, um, like she just wanted to destroy me. She wanted to shut me up. But I said, be gone in Jesus' name. It was hard and took me a few times to physically say it. But I got it out. I started, it started as a thought. Then I, then I said it and I woke. Then I woke and cast it out a real spirit. And it did flee. Thank you, Lord. It did flee away. Alright, so what I mean when I say that is, um, I've, I have experienced a lot of, uh, you know, demonic attacks in the night, but I have authority in Jesus' name, and I do not fear, I always cast them away in Jesus' name, and they do flee, and you have the same power if you are a child of the Most High God, Jesus Christ, you have authority, so don't be afraid of these entities, because... All they want to do and all they can do is scare you. They only have power if you give them power by your fear. Do not do not um be afraid of them because they have no power. Um and they they must flee if you say in Jesus name or you plead the blood, they must flee. Um and they will. And when I've got attacked, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I I'll be paralyzed, feel like, you know, my body, I can't move my body, it'll feel like I can't speak, I can't, um, open my eyes, but I'm alive on the inside, it's kind of like I'm in a temporary coma or something, I hear everything that's going on on the outside, I feel it, 
but I can't, and I want to I wanna open my mouth and say Jesus, or say the power of the blood of Jesus, and um, cast them out in Jesus' name, I'm only allowed to thank you, or I'm only able to thank you for a little bit, and then um, I get more and more strength, and um, eventually I'm able to open my eyes, and I will cast it out in Jesus' name, rest of the night, sleep like a baby, they don't come back, but they come back every once in a while, you know, to try to. But they, I, I take authority in the power that I have in Jesus Christ. So I fear not. Yea, do I walk through the valley in the shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So I will not fear. And you don't have to fear either. Alright, so that was my dream, you guys. Um, now I'm going to leave you with a few scriptures. All right. Um, oh, and when I was able to discern this woman's spirit, she got really upset. Um, discerning the spirits, you gotta have that. You gotta, you gotta. Um, we all have that gift. It's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But you know, um, it's something you gotta pray about. Um, it's something you gotta, you gotta meditate on the Word all the time, and the spiritual realm will come alive to you. Alright, um, so I'm going to read to you Hebrews 5, verse 12 through 14. Alright, spiritual immaturity. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness for he is a babe but solid food belongs to those who are rare who are of full age that is those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil all right so you have that gift like I said discerning of spirits is a gift it's one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit and you have to practice at it, you have to pray about it, and you will you will begin to see things. And I mean, like, you know, here and now, like, I'm awake, you will see, like, you know, spiritual, the spiritual realm, and angelic, and demonic, and stuff. And there's, it's, um, you know, it's something you need, um, because beware of wolves in sheep's clothing, alright? Um, so... Now I'm going to read to you um, Ephesians 6, 10 through, 10 through 20, um, the whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having got girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all your prayer and suppl supplication in the spirit being watchful to this end with all preservings and supplication for all the saints and for me that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in change that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak Alright you guys, so yeah, you gotta put on the full armor of God, and the enemy, 
he has no power remember he has no power at all so always stay in the full armor of God so you can be prepared for his attacks and his deceives and all this stuff his lies all right um, now I'm gonna read to you Matthew 8 verse 28 through 34 um two demon possessed men heal all right um when he had come to the other side to the country of the gorgeousness there met him two demon possessed men coming out of the tombs exceedingly fierce so that no one could pass that way and suddenly they cried out saying what have we to do with you Jesus you son of God have you come here to torment us before the time now a good way off from them there was a herd of many swine feeding so the demons begged him saying if you cast us out permit us to go away into the herd of swine and he said to them go so when they came so when they had came, come out they went into the herd of swine and suddenly the whole herd of swine ran violently down the steep place into the sea and perished in the water then those who kept them fled and they went away into the city and told everything including what had happened to the demon possessed men and behold the whole city came out to meet Jesus and when they saw him they begged him to depart from their region all right all right you guys so Jesus he cast out demons and many miracles and things and killed many people you have that same gift inside of you believe it receive it pray about it and know that you have it if you are a child of God you have authority you have the same authority that Jesus had in this passage you can cast out and make demons tremble through Jesus the power of Jesus with dwells inside of you so um you know take authority take authority because all the enemy can do is scare you and you have the power you have the power um, of Jesus inside of you just like when Jesus was saying to them if you had faith as small as mustard seed you could tell this tree Pull yourself up by the roots, plant yourself inside the the, the ocean, and it would obey you. All right. So um, that was my dream um, that I had last night. I'm gonna post a few more other videos about other dreams that God gave me this same night. And um, I hope this bless you guys. Um, all right, have a good one. Love you. God bless.